In this demonstration, we're going to set up a vast data store and start an initial migration to that data store from a NetApp system. When you log into Comprise, you'll come to our main plan analysis page where you can see the data and see the shares that Comprise has been pointing to to take a look at. But one of the first things we'll need to do is add in this new VAST system. So with that, we go to the data store section and we choose add data store. And so from here, we have a number of systems that we have already pre-tested, certified, and work with in the environment. But the beauty of Comprise is that we focus on standards and we connect to any NAS system, NFS or SMB, as well as numerous object store systems. Now for VAST, what we'll do is we'll connect in to using the VAST data platform NAS interface, and we'll go and discover shares. We'll put in the VAST system that we're looking to work with that's been set up ahead of time. We'll come along and then discover the various shares. So Comprise will go out and look for that system and scan it for the available shares on the system, and then we'll show it in the environment. Now, I have pre-configured some of this to kind of make this go quicker and easier for us. And so now we can see this new VAS engineering system that we've set up and initially communicated with. And as I mentioned in that discover shares, it shows us the various shares that have been pre-allocated in the system and are there and available for us to work with. In this case, I've set up an engineering environment and I've set up a marketing environment for us to take a look at as well. So one's largely focused on NFS, the other one's largely focused on SMB, but they could be a mix within those different platforms. Now, one of the wonderful things about Comprise is this data stores page gives us this ability to look at our storage silos and start to understand what's in them, what capacities are like, what growth rates are like, you know, a number of great things that you'd want to know before you begin a migration, like, you know, how much data is there in this particular share? And so what we're going to do is look at this engineering support one and set up a migration to it from this NetApp system. Now we have an ability to move data, you know, fully intact to a new empty system, or we have an ability to work with preloaded data to send data over to that system as well, if it may have some data already staged there. And as you see, we have some of that data staged here, but what we're going to do is ignore this data and write over it with our new data from our NetApp support system here. In this environment, like I said, you can see a number of fields, and this is totally customizable to your needs. There's about 20 different items on the left that you can pick and choose from. You can grab an item, drag it over to the right, drop it in, and pick what order you want it to show up in the environment. And that can be reflected now in the user interface for you to take a look at. The other really great thing about this that you're going to love for migrations as well is that you can also choose this report. And in this report, what you're going to see is it's showing you the information for what you're presenting on your screen. So here's where if I'm looking at a migration, I can see the systems, see the sizes, the file counts, rates of change, and have this report ahead of time to kind of understand what I'm migrating, what I'm migrating to, and look for things like tons of tiny files or tons of directories and a whole bunch of other information. So on the plan page, you can learn a lot about the health of your system, the health of your shares, your data. Are there crazy long path names, invalid characters, symbolic links? You know, some of these things you'll want to check because different operating systems and different storage platforms support different numbers of characters. And comprise this holistic approach to migrations is to understand your data first, plan out your migration, and then go in and start it. So speaking of starting migrations, let's go and do that now for this one particular share. And as you'll see with comprise, it's very easy. There's a start wizard for us for migrations where I can come along and choose my source system. So I'm going to take this NetApp system on the storage volume two here. That's our support folder. And next, we're going to come along and choose our VAST system that we're going to transfer to. So you remember, I set this one up with engineering and I've gone ahead and enabled support for us to be able to transfer to that one. And so as you see, I can move the entire share or we can move it on a directory level basis from source or destination. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. And Comprise also supports different ways to be able to get data to a system. A standard is where we're typically working with an empty destination, and we're going to make that destination match the source. Or that destination may have been preloaded with data like we have in this case, and then we're going to make it eventually match the source as well. So those are the standard ones. But sometimes there's shared consolidations where you want to keep the latest version and have a conglomeration of the data. We support that as well. So it's really a, a really flexible tool for being able to move data to an environment.
You can also choose how frequently we look for changes in data. We use an incremental fashion. We do everything on the first pass, and then we look for deltas from thereafter of what's been added, deleted, and make those adjustments with the di different systems. We also can do this on a regular beat, like once a day for our default here, or we could say just start the next iteration at the end of the business day, and that kind of helps keep the migration movement a little bit out of the business window to help things run more efficiently and make better use of your network. And we can pre-stage this migration and run it later, but we're going to go ahead and start it now automatically. So with that, we can choose more things like preserving ACLs, information, validating our data, you know, putting the audit logs into a particular location. And in this case, we can give the system, this migration, a particular name. So we'll do like vast engineering. And then we have the source system identified where the data is coming from. So next, we'll have a big review of what we've selected for our different parameters for the migration. And then we'll start the migration task itself. So you see, it doesn't get much easier to be able to come in, set up a migration, and get the operation started. And here we are, we're now transferring data, and we're working on that first iteration that's going to move all of that data on that one, and subsequent iterations will handle the deltas for the environment. So you know, we have a nice, great interface showing you the progress of the individual migration task. You can get a report and see what happened on every single iteration that happened in them. We can choose to pause or you know, start new ones when we're between iterations or things like that for the environment. And then we can manage multiple migration tasks running all simultaneously. And that's, again, a part of the beauty of Comprise is this elastic migration of being able to spread the workload across multiple machines and multiple systems to make things happen really, really fast. And so um, a great example is like doing small SMB file transfers over a remote WAN. We can do things 20 times faster than Robocopy because we're super efficient at it, and we can choose what modules we deploy where to make sure everything runs fast for you. So as you see with some of these others, I've started them up earlier, and they've gone through multiple iterations and multiple transfers to their environment. We can track them. We can see how long each iteration takes individually, or we can look at what an average is of the previous iterations. And then we can also see how much data was moved, if there were any particular errors, things like that. So think of each of these iterations as like a trial run at a final cutover. So you know exactly where you stand. And when you do do that cutover window, you know it's as simple as coming and doing start final, and you're on your way for it, you'll know how long it takes by looking at the average runtime. So again, making migration super easy to work with, making it so you can see your storage subsystems and understand what's in them and see, get reporting on them as well as getting uh, the health and analytic data for them too. Now, another really great feature built into this product as well is the ability to drill into a particular directory. So take this field marketing system. We can, from the central console here, see into the individual directories, and we can see the, the owners and the groups of them. So if we do have some questions about these directories, like this engineering one here, we know who to go talk to and understand you know, that data, that environment. Maybe we've seen that it had a lot of cold data back here earlier. Maybe we want them to go clean that up. So we can do that drill into these different systems and these different environments as well. And another great thing is, again, you can view your data across on-prem as well as cloud systems in the environment too. So Comprise provides a really great unstructured data management plane to be able to work with all of your unstructured data, NAS or object systems. And as you see, it's super simple to go in, add storage, and start a simple operation like a migration. But also, you have the ability to learn a lot more about your data along the way. So that concludes what we'll cover for the setup and the migration. Thank you very much.